Hello everyone, it's Shannon here for Pink Fresh Studio. In today's video, we are going to create this frosty holiday card featuring stamps and dies from the recent release. We're going to start with the gorgeous folk snowflake stamp set here. I'm going to open up the pack and grab out or pull out that large snowflake image, and then I'll place it on over the corner here of an A2 panel of some heavyweight white cardstock. Once I get that snowflake in the right position, I'll then pick it up with my Misty. I'm going to heat emboss, so I do add some anti-static powder first, then I ink up my stamp in an embossing and watermark ink. After I ink it up, I'll stamp my stamp a couple of times just to make sure I have plenty of that ink down so we have a good amount of our embossing powder sticking to it. I'm going to be using white embossing powder today. I really like the contrast of that bright white and the color that we use later. After I dipped it into the white embossing powder, I then heat set with my heat tool. Now I have my panel back in my Misty and I have repositioned my snowflake stamp here and I'm now stamping the side and kind of in the center with that snowflake again. Uh, it's a large snowflake so I do have to always kind of stamp off the panel a little bit to get um, three on here and kind of cover the ba the background nicely. So after I stamped that snowflake, I then dipped it in white embossing powder and heat set again. And then I stamped the snowflake one more time, so a third time in total, and then dipped it into the white embossing powder and heat set it as well. Now we're gonna create a real simple like background or kind of tint our panel a little bit. I'm just ink blending a small amount of ocean breeze kind of here and there, just sort of randomly. Then I'll move on to a slightly darker ink, which is waterfall and ink blend again, a couple spots here and there, just kind of spreading, getting some of this color in kind of random spots. So it's not just this stark white, it's a little bit tinted with these blue inks. Once I finish with this waterfall, we'll be ready for our stencils. So here I have the folk snowflake stencil set. There are three stencils in this set. Each one of them are labeled in the upper left corner. I'm going to start with stencil one here and I am going to go in order so it's easy to follow along. I'll just line up that stencil with my stamped image and I'm going to start with stencil one just simply ink blending all the openings in paradise. I'm going to keep my um, ink blending or my color palette pretty limited for these stencils, just one color for each stencil layer. I am repeating uh, this process and ink blending each one of my snowflakes with stencil one in uh, paradise ink. So I've now moved on to my second one and then I have just one more to go. In between my, um, when I, before I move the stencil, I am cleaning over the stencil with a dry cloth. You'll see me do it here with this third um, snowflake after I ink blend. I'm just using this dry cloth to clean off actually the ink, the residual ink that's left over the heat embossed areas. And by doing it with that stencil on top, you're kind of keeping the ink from moving over into other areas, other white areas of your card bay, of your um, panel. So it's just really helpful to kind of clean that emb heat embossing, that ink that's on the heat embossing while that stencil is still on top with a dry cloth. So now we're on to stencil number two and here I am ink blending all the openings in Seaside. Again, very repetitive process, um, ink blending, then cleaning, and then moving my stencil to the next snowflake. and repeating that till we do all the snowflakes in Seaside and Stencil 2. Now we're on to the third and final stencil. And for this stencil, we are going to use a Summer Shower, another beautiful blue. Pink Rush has so many beautiful blues and they even added to them in the recent ink release with some more pools, which is I also love those too. So you have a lot of blues to play with for these snowflakes. Of course, you can go untraditional and do reds, which I did recently for the um, for the actually Instagram hop. But I really love this set. I just think is the snowflakes are so elegant and so delicate and beautiful. You really can't go wrong with whatever color palette you use. So once I finish with that summer shower, we are all done with our ink blending of the snowflakes. Now it's time to move on to our sentiment. I have the Caitlin alpha dies here. I'm going to spell out peace. I'm going to die cut the letter out of white cardstock and then the shadow layer for the letter I'll die cut out of vellum. So I repeated that process here for all my letters for peace, but I also die cut um, additional white layers out of the um, just that letter die so I can stack them up to have some dimension. So I'm going to stack two of my white 
layers together. So you can see here I just did it with the P. Then I'll take that third final white layer and place it over my vellum. So that will help, that vellum will help to make that letter kind of pop against the background. Then I'll take my stacked letter and then I'll place it behind uh, the vellum piece and just kind of match it up with that top um, white cardstock letter. So everything is seamless. You can't see the adhesive and I'll make adhering this down to our card front with that uh, dimension very easy. A little bit easier than even using foam adhesive because there's some kind of spindly parts on these letters. So doing it this way is just a better way to get more support for especially like those curvy um, flourishes on that you see on the A and the E. Now we're going to move on to kind of like a sub sentiment. I have the winter berries frame stamp set here. I've stamped my sentiment onto some white cardstock in embossing and watermark ink. I then dipped my sentiment into some white embossing powder. Then of course heat set with my heat tool. After I heat set my sentiment, I actually want to kind of tint or color the cardstock and I'm going to use the seaside that one of the blues that we used earlier for our snowflakes. And I'm just simply going to ink blend over this strip of paper, over my sentiment to just simply color that cardstock behind it. So now we have a kind of matching colored sentiment strip that perfectly matches because it's the same ink that we used earlier for our snowflakes. I am then going to stack up two scraps of white cardstock strips. I'm just stacking them up so I have some dimension. And because I'm doing two layers, it'll be the same dimension as our stacked letters for piece. So nothing's going to be like too high. It's all going to be very seamless. I then arranged my letters for the piece, used a, a piece of um, tape to kind of keep them all in place, picked them up. Now I'm adding liquid glue to the back side of my letters and then I will place them down. The tape, you could also use press and seal if you prefer. Uh, the tape I just find is really easy because it's it's not as bulky for, because I don't need as much um, sticky surface for these letters. Just a nice strip worked really well. I then am carefully removing the tape here. I should, probably should have let the letter stick a little bit longer or let the glue dry a little bit longer before I remove the tape, but still everything came off pretty well. Now I'm going to add some liquid glue to the backside of my sentiment strip. And I am almost done with this card. I decided to add some snow. So I took the new calico white ink, pressed it onto a piece of acetate. Then I'm going to add some water, then mix that water and that pigment ink together with the paintbrush. I then placed a little scrap of paper over my sentiments to keep them kind of protected from the splatters. And now I'm just splattering all those corners, those four corners with that white pigment ink to just create that look of snow and this really does kind of amp up that frosty look for this overall for, for the overall card and I'll hold my card up to the camera so you can get a quick look. I really love how this card turned out. I love the blues. I definitely think they have, they add to that frosty feel. And then that vellum behind our letters helped to make them pop, but again, make this card feel very frosty. And even that little bit of splattering of white ink adds to the overall look. I hope you guys enjoyed today's card and video. If you have any questions about the products I use, please check out the links below in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.